Hi Aries, this is your reading with me for September 2020. I hope you are doing well. Uh, we're going to see what's coming through for your reading. All right, I've got your cards here. This is a Smithwaite deck. And also this is going to be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So we will take a look and see what's coming through. I'm just going to put my glasses on. Um, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will be down below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention, intention bracelets, they are on Etsy as well. So I'm actually wearing a love one. Uh, there's a law of attraction one in the middle and then a yin and yang one. Um, there's also twin flame and soulmate bracelets as well. So if anyone is interested, definitely do check out the Etsy store, which um, will be linked down below. Um, everything is meditated with sage, there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. And there's um, crystals, necklaces, bracelets, there's also teas and uh, what <laughs> what else is there? Um, embroidered intention cards, which you can put under your pillow, in your wallet, or your purse. Okay, so um, yeah, everything is you know everything has its own intentions, and if you want to see how other people have seen results of them, please do check out the Etsy store as well. Cool. So Aries, let's see what September is bringing you. I'm really excited. So let's have a look and see. Four of Swords, Seven of Cups also flipped over, hmm, Aries, <laughs> I feel like you're really up in your mind about things, thinking a lot about things, uh, you're wanting love, you're thinking of love, you're thinking what's coming, how's it coming, when's it coming, you're taking a lot of rest here as well, that's something that's definitely coming through, you might be sleeping a little bit more, uh, taking more naps, you're probably wondering, I mean, like, what's that got to do with um, September? Well, I will say, you know, September has a uh, Virgo season, and of course, with Virgo season comes a lot of that sort of thinking, pondering, wondering, contemplating, um, at times being overly critical of yourself. So, you know, if you're someone that has not perhaps thought of love so much, or you are someone that thinks about love a lot, you're just going to accelerate and think much more of love. You're going to be perhaps thinking, okay, I want my love life to be like this. I want my partnership to be like this. I want to find someone like this. So it just puts more of a spin on things where you're like, I need this, I want this. And because of Virgo season and the thinking aspect of things, it's just, you know, more, more, more. <laughs> so you're going to be thinking a lot more about love. You might even be getting a lot of dreams in regards to love as well. I actually think that this is not necessarily a bad thing because the Seven of Cups definitely shows that at least you'll be able to know what you want um, in regards to this, right? You know you're like, I always feel as well, what's really important to mention here is to think about your needs, right? Think about yourself as a person and then what you need in relation to that. Because say, for example, you're in a situation with someone or you're with someone, it's also really important to ask yourself, like, is that person serving my boundaries, my goals, my values, my needs? It's not just always about the other person and wanting the other person because then that's chasing, right? It's about is that person good for me? Is that person prioritizing me? Can that person give to me what I expect in return? Perhaps that's respect, um, faithfulness. Is that person giving me what I need? And if not, can I manifest it? All right, not in the same person, but you know, new person wise. So you're definitely thinking here about your needs as well. I think that's really important very vital and crucial. See, King of Swords, it's almost like you're taking matters into your own hands. Okay, I think that you're going to be quite clear cut here. Some of you are going to try and, you know, let go of certain people that are just not serving you, not suiting you, not giving you what you truly need. The judgment. Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles, wow. I feel like you're going to turn fate here. Look at this, judgment. Oh my gosh, you know what this is. Like literally, if you stop thinking about somebody and you're like, no, you're not, you're no good for me. You're not giving me what I need in return. I feel like the wheel of fortune here is signifying that they could then start chasing you, come after you, give you lots of words and communication because it's like you're putting yourself first to the point where they can feel that energy and they're like, whoa, it's 
crazy. I need that, you know? Judgment. Judgment's ruled by Pluto. Pluto is all about transformation. Um, really interesting, actually, because this here shows that transformation can happen. For those of you that are single, there's this energy here where you can start to manifest the person that you really want. Like, single as in, you know, you've got nobody around. If you're single and you're in a situation with someone, this is about you really taking into account your needs and really asking yourself, is this person suiting me or is this situation just not going to, you know, go anywhere? Then, of course, we've got the King of Swords. So this is about being direct. This is being direct about your thoughts and your needs. A lot of you here are doing a lot of um, healing, right? Because the star here is almost like preparation for healing, trying to get yourself together in a good place. The Ace of Pentacles is brought to you by the Knight of Pentacles. This shows that there can be someone new that starts to come in in September that starts to show interest to you in September so if you're someone who is just not getting what you want you know your needs are not being met consider this that September could bring you something so much better consider that um, obviously you know you have to be open to somebody new and for some of you can come after September so just be aware because you have got judgment judgments ruled by Pluto Pluto is currently in retrograde and Pluto comes out of retrograde in October so September October is the time that I'm seeing also Wheel of Fortune is number 10 10 of course October so round about September October there is this energy of new love coming in for those of you that are wondering that I'm seeing here obviously you know this is not going to resonate with everyone so make your choices and your decisions according to your situation but what tarot here is showing is that you must do what serves you not necessarily what serves the other person or um, you know constantly is serving others because you have to put yourself first I think that's really important um, it's something that I've come to realize very lately as well is that you've got to put yourself first not just always the other person because you're a human being on your own and it's so empowering to put yourself first and to know your needs and your wants rather than always the other person's needs and wants so I think that's really empowering um, so Wheel of Fortune here is you can change your own fate um, in that sense so Ace of Pentacles is good because it shows here that there's someone coming okay they're coming and also if you're in a situation with someone I do feel that you know the minute you change your mindset and you take care of you and you put yourself first they seem to be chasing a little bit more giving more communication they seem to be much more progressive towards you it's good energy. I like it. I like what I'm seeing here. Let's stay in this high vibrational energy, Aries. Comment down below as well. Um, I stay in a high vibrational energy because that's what's going to give you what we're seeing here. All right. This is love. Like love, love, love. I love, love, love this reading. Okay. Look at that. King of Pentacles as well. Knight to the King. This person here that I see bringing this Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles has so much potential. This could be a new person for some of you. For others of you, it could be the same person that maybe you're dealing with, but, okay, this is you putting yourself first that allows them to rise to that level. You know what happens sometimes when you put yourself first? Some people will just sort of cut them, cut themselves out of your life. Trust me when I say that is not a loss, okay? That is you putting yourself first and that person just not being the one for you. I, I, I know that's blunt to say, but it's so, so true, okay? Chasing after that is not going to give you happiness. But manifesting what's truly there for you is really important, okay? If someone cuts themselves out of your life, I mean, you know, that's just, it's, it's them, okay? It's not you. Especially if you lay out, you know, what you truly want in life, your goals, your boundaries, your values. It's not a loss. Um see what the last card here is there's already a card that's already come out by the way I'm looking for the last card Ooh, page of swords cool see there's real potential here for someone new to come in okay and for you to to be chased and be chosen two of cups right true love this is not the kind of love where you're chasing after someone and wanting someone and praying to God for someone when the other person's just living their life, doing whatever they want. No. This is both of you praying equally for one another, wanting the best for one another, being there for one another, and choosing one another. Okay? That is what I feel is true love. Okay? True love. Destined love. So, yeah, you're thinking a lot here. Nine of, uh, nine of wands, sorry. Um, wondering, pondering, contemplating this beautiful energy because I just feel here like you're going to turn fate and you're going to turn it towards yourself and that's what's going to bring you true love okay 
So this is your reading Aries. Take care, stay safe. Everything is in the description box below as usual. All right, take care. Bye.